This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, March the 21st, 2019. It's the feast day of St. Benedetto Campiaccio. She was a Genoese Italian and the youngest of six children. She wanted to be a religious but was pressured, as only Italian parents can pressure, to marry. Her parents' choice for her was Giovanni Battista Frassinello who also felt a strong call to the religious life. They married as dutiful Italian youths, but agreed to live a life of chastity and continence as brother and sister. Within two years, they informally dissolved the marriage and joined religious orders, Benedetta opting for the Ursuline sisters and Giovanni joining the Samashi fathers. They both founded schools and actually reunited when Benedetta founded an order in 1838 based on the rule of St. Benedict. Benedetta was beatified in 1987 and canonized in 2002, both by Pope St. John Paul II. Today in 1788, the Great New Orleans Fire raged through the French Quarter. Records show the fire started at about 1.30 in the afternoon at the home of the Army Treasurer on the corner of Chartres and Toulouse, about a block from the Jackson Square, which at that time was called the Plaza de Armas. It was Good Friday, and this great fire should not be confused with the great fire of 1812, in which the statue of Our Lady of Prom Secour plays an important role. This fire raged unchecked and destroyed almost the entire city by that evening. This fire, along with another in 1794 and then the 1812 fire, account for the fascinating mixture of French, Spanish, Native American, Indian, and Creole architecture that gives New Orleans, especially the French Quarter, its charm. Today is World Down Syndrome Day. Today is the day because in 1990, the AFRT, the French Association for Research on Trisomy 21, was founded. In 2006, today, several national and regional groups working with Downs formed a unified organization to research the condition and to assist those who live with it, either as the ones who have Downs or the ones caring for them. Downs is one of the most common chromosomal abnormalities in humans. It occurs in about 1 per 1,000 births each year. In 2015, Downs was present in about 5.4 million individuals around the world. And so today is the day to pray for and to remember and to encourage folks around you who have Downs or who care for and love those who have Downs. Today is the anniversary of the closure of Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary known colloquially as The Rock. Alcatraz is situated on an island near San Francisco. The prison has a long history of abuses and even torture. Like the Titanic, which was thought to be unsinkable, Alcatraz was made to be inescapable. Even if someone could get out of his cell and over the walls and through the barbed wire, they were on an island surrounded by freezing water and very strong current, far too strong to swim. The prison even went so far as to mandate warm showers so that prisoners couldn't acclimatize themselves to the freezing water. In 1962, three men may or may not have escaped. The FBI released very scant details. The prison released even more scant details. And then out of nowhere, the place was shut down in the next year. That same year, 1963, J. Campbell Bruce wrote a famous non-fiction book about the history of Alcatraz and the mysterious escape of Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers. In 1979, Clint Eastwood starred in the movie, and whatever actually happened, The Rock remains a popular tourist site and a reminder of how bad prisons can be. And it was today in 1963 that it closed its doors for the last time and sent all of its prisoners off of the rock. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.